नमस्ते हैव यू एवर वंडर्ड अबाउट द हेल्थ बेनिफिट्स ऑफ मंत्र चांटिंग और आर यू वन ऑफ दोज हु स्ट्रॉन्गली बिलीव दैट मंत्र चांटिंग इज प्योरली अ स्पिरिचुअल और अ रिलीजियस प्रैक्टिस वेल इन दिस वीडियो लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट हाउ मंत्र चांटिंग इज एज थेरप्यूटिक एज इट इज अ स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज अ मंत्र मननाथ त्रायते इति मंत्र manana is contemplation trayate is protects so a mantra is that which protects upon contemplation so basically anything any word any sentence in any language can be a mantra as long as it is giving you a sense of security comfort safety and bringing a sense of peace from within but the most authentic type of mantras would be the traditional ones such as omkara which is of just one letter but is the most powerful mantra or om namah shivaya which is the mantra of lord shiva or it can be the mantra of any of your favorite deities or even it can be the most powerful and very well known mantras such as gayatri mantra or mahamrutyunjaya mantra but you might be thinking why these traditional mantras well i can list out for you at least three very important reasons number 1 because of their language now these traditional mantras are in sanskrit language now, sanskritam is the most precise scientific and physiologically effective language because of its precision as well as phonetic nature the mere sound of these mantras or the way the very correct pronunciation itself of these mantras can be of great benefit to us number 2 these are the mantras that are not written made or composed by human beings these mantras are essentially vibrations of sound that are you know the gifts of the nature or cosmos now just like the great isaac newton could discover the gravity which was a phenomenon that was already present but he with his keen observation skills could discover it and made it known to the world similarly our ancestors the great sages or the rishi munis in a deep state of meditation could tune their mind into these vibration frequencies and make these mantras known to the world you know just how a radio would work now because these are the gifts of nature these mantras are the most purest in form and because of that are also known as the great source of healing energy for both the body as well as the mind number 3 these are the most ancient mantras many great personalities and powerful yogic minds have done their sadhana on these mantras because of which these mantras have become even more powerful so if you as a practitioner chant these mantras you are definite to get the power or the energy to the mind which makes your mind even more efficient for anything that comes in its way consider an electric car charging you know once the car is plugged in and charged to the fullest it can go for miles or travel for miles with great efficiency that's exactly how these mantras these powerful mantras work on our minds too the next is how to chant a mantra well as per the definition contemplation is the most important aspect or a key factor in making the mantra chanting more beneficial so let us try to understand what to contemplate on while chanting a mantra for practical purpose a mantra can be seen in two different ways number 1 mantra with its meaning number 2 a mantra as a pure sound which it actually is right so for a person who finds it difficult to you know involve or focus on the practice without any relatable aid for such a person contemplation upon meaning would be the most beneficial way of practice you know you pick a mantra you try you start chanting the mantra while contemplating upon its meaning trying to invoke the meaning in the mind in the form of emotions in the form of thoughts or even images whichever works the best for you you know for the sake of total in, total involvement in the practice 
Now, once you have achieved that type of contemplation practice, from then onwards, you leave the meaning behind and you start to focus on the mantra as a pure sound. You know, you pick the same mantra, you chant it out loud, but you start contemplating upon the pure sound of your chanting. Because at that level or at that stage of your practice where your mind has advanced in the practice, anything else other than the sound itself, you know, the meaning, image or thought and any of such factors will only become a source of distraction. So in order for you to respect and support the advancement and the maturity of your mind and awareness in the practice, you make sure you choose the second type that is contemplating upon the mantra is a pure sound. Now, what are the health benefits of mantra chanting? Well, mantra can be chanted in two different ways. First one is loud chanting. You pick a mantra and you chant it out loud. Now, this itself has a lot many physiological and mental benefits. I would like to list out a few for you. First one, the right way of mantra chanting requires some amount of controlled exhalation because of which the breathing process itself slows down. A slow breathing process which means slower breath rate. So as a result, your heart as well as the entire circulatory system will start to function in a more relaxed and rhythmic manner. And not to mention, mantra chanting will also strengthen the respiratory muscles as well as that of the heart. Because of this, we yoga therapists use mantra chanting in the treatment of lung and heart related health issues such as asthma, hypertension and so on. Number two, the vibrations from mantra chanting are known to release some happy hormones such as dopamine, serotonin, etc. which are known to develop a sense of well-being uh, which are known to reduce the stress and also improve the mood. Now, because for this very reason, we use these mantra chanting in the therapy treatment of um, anxiety, depression, insomnia or any other stress related issues or psychosomatic uh, disorders such as diabetes, hypertension and headache and etc. And the, the same vibrations are also known to relax your musculoskeletal muscles because of which you get to see your yoga teachers giving akara, ukara, makara chanting during the shavasana practice after an active asana session. Number three, chanting and memorizing Sanskrit mantras are known to enhance the regions in the brain that are associated with cognitive skills such as memory and concentration. That means mantra chanting will improve or strengthen the memory and concentration. Because of this, mantra chanting is highly recommended for the students of all ages, of all levels, as well as the working professionals, especially in those jobs which require a lot of mental and intellectual involvement. Number four and the final, according to ancient Indian medicine systems such as Ayurveda, yoga therapy, there is a very strong correlation between your digestion and immunity. So the mantra chanting, especially the loud mantra chanting is known to create heat in your system which stimulates the digestive fire, not only in your GI tract but also at every cell level. Now as a result, your digestion becomes very strong and that itself burns a lot of like most of the toxins in your system. And this detoxification will strengthen your immunity which further adds up to the overall health of your body. Now on the last note, coming back to the second type of mantra chanting, which is chanting in the mind. It is called Japa, Mantra Vrittihi Manaso Japaha. That is, Japa is to repeat the mantra in the mind. Now this itself is the most efficient tool to internally calm your mind. Because, you know, the very nature of mind is to become, you know, like fall all over the place, get very distracted and eventually become exhausted. So, internal chanting of the mantra will save your mind from that, you know. The regular practice of japa, which is called japa anushthana, will make your mind more one-pointed 
and so your mind will become more efficient in all aspects of life well if you are somebody who has experienced the power and the benefit of mantra chanting feel free to let us know about it and if you like the video please share the video among your friends and family also if you have any doubt or if you want to know more about any topics related to yoga practice yoga philosophy anatomy yoga therapy feel free to write to us on our facebook and instagram page the links are given here and i will see you in the next video until then love health live retro namaste